Hello and welcome to the review for After the Sunset. Now, got a bit funny at the start of that, but it was two outtakes and completely ruined the first one and then couldn't get it right and then totally forgot about the. The doesn't count, but it does count in the middle of a sentence. If it was called the after sunset, the would not count, so you wouldn't be looking under the D, you'd be looking under A. I, whatever. Anyway, I um, revisited this last night, and this is about the third time I've seen this movie. And I put it on, and I love it. And there's a lot of films, like when this film down by the Caribbean, the fucking just, the Caribbean just oozes, oozes through the fucking screen. It does with Fool's Gold, it does with Speed 2, you know, it just oozes, it's just the natural colours of the place. Now, Pierce Brosnan, Selma Hayek, Woody Harrison, and Don Chiandeli, I would say his name wrong, War Machine. Um, directed from from the director of Rush Hour, so it's Bert Ratner who did uh, Rush Hour and Red Dragon. Um, okay, so she's got a face on the front of the box. She's absolutely beautiful and she doesn't even get a name. It's got to be Naomi Harris. Um, it's a shame that, because the name's on the back. Um, that entertainment video, you can always tell. Now, I watched this last night and it's... Uh, I didn't know that it was 15, just dropped a few F bombs actually. But right, I watched this last night and it's a, it's a dual heist movie. So there's a bit of a heist at the start, and basically, um, Pierce Brosnan and Woody Harrison work really good in this. And uh, Pierce Brosnan is the master thief, and his, his wife is Selma Hayek, who absolutely looks desirably unbelievable. She looks better in this than she does from Full Dust Till Dawn. It's like she's just found the fucking fountain of youth, haven't you? And basically what happens in this is basically they pull off a heist at the start of the movie and make Woody Harrison, the FBI agent, look like a bit of a fool. And he does it with a more control on his phone, but it's like a, like a Nokia like dial-up thing. It's It's got some good ideas ahead of its time. It's not like the Art of Steel when they hide something in a giant vagina. Um, and so basically they they retire, they go back down to the Caribbean, they buy this house, it looks lush, the house. And Woody Harrison follows them down. Just so happens that the third of Napoleon's sword diamonds is on tour around the Caribbean cruise. And they're like, aha, I didn't move for a reason. I get you picked this island, baby. So there's a bit of a romance thing going on between Woody Harrison and Naomi Harris here, who plays the local, um, might be in Jamaica, this is in the Caribbean. like. But um, she plays the local law enforcement and he plays the uh, local American come down to make a name for himself, like the gangster kind of type. And it's all about, like, if you're going to pull this job off, how will you pull it off? And it's kind of like the red herons and stuff like that. And he's clever how he thinks. And there's twists and the turns, but when you know the twists and the turns, it spoils the movie. So that's what this review should really stop like. So I, did, I enjoy it. I really, really enjoy it. Um, it's got a lot of comedy in it as well. A lot of funny bits. The hotel is staying. That's just not going to stay there. There's like, uh, there's this big pink hotel. And just at the crop here, there's like one of the hotel suites they have. And that you think, fucking hell. So the chapter section, you've got opening credits, the street cleaner. That's one of the first uh, little um, heists. Max's plan, the opening credits part two. The intruder, moment of truth. Sophie's introduction. Um, the two couples, the third Napoleon. Um, the challenge, the fishing trip, there's quite a funny bit with a shark and stuff like that, it's quite funny. Even like the homage to them falling out the boat and them singing Show Me The Way Home really drunk. There's definitely a bit of love for Jaws in there. Falling in love and out of love, Max and Stan bunk up. Scuba diving, the thief, the setup, marry me, Stan's plan, the end credits. And if you enjoyed this movie, I'm guessing you should check out Ladies in Lavender with Judy Dench and Maggie Smith. Blade Trinity, Phantom of the Opera, Beyond the Sea, that's disappeared, The Birth, Critters the Complete, what the fuck, pump up the volume, this isn't even old DVD, pump up the volume is rare as shit on DVD, I can't believe that's in here, pump up the, I, I once owned pump up the volume, true story, if you don't know the story already, Christian Slater has my copy of pump up the volume, it is a true story, didn't have it. I wanted to watch it while I was in England. Yes, you may say I give him it, but I, I expected it back somehow. He sold me pen as well. What did I get? A signed copy of Cuffs, but yeah. I can't believe fucking pump up the volume is in that. House party. Um, hanging with the homeboys. Never heard of that. Million dollar baby. White noise. So, 
Oh. Oh. The only way you see pump up the volume on DVD is on Hong Kong import. Oh, I must track that down. It does have companies on there, but I haven't got enough time because I will be soon in the sunshine of New Zealand. This is probably one of my last reviews actually going into it. Um, I'm literally trying not to film anything right now because I'm traveling. Right, see you in the outtakes. Hello and welcome to the very after sunset. <laughs> this is the review for after the sunset. After the sunset. Oh fuck, these are the outtakes. Fuck me. Now that you've seen them, Durastrous, Durast, fuck me, Durast, what the fuck is a Durastrous outtake? Talk about fucking a dinosaur, Jurassic Park. Yeah, disastrous is the word I was looking for. Yeah, so anyway, um, on that note, um, yeah, good espionage film, espionage heist. I'm just going to give up. Check out the movie, it's awesome. It's got some really good twists and turns. It's funny, it's just, it just oozes Caribbean. Thanks for watching, goodbye for now. Dun dun dun! Um, the movie is after the fucking sunset and it's like two two weeks later maybe it's, it's two weeks since i watched it and i pump up the volume finally in my hands it is a uk release it's a lot different to the um vhs which i can just get i have a few different versions of this on vhs there it is Whew. so it's christian certain like looking there rather than just holding his microphone talk hard shadow on my face but yeah, there's a big difference. Christian Slater, pump up the volume. Christian Slater, pump up the volume. This is not the same version that I gave Christian. Um, this is the UK release. From what I know and what I talked about Casper, this is really, really um, hard to get a hold of. And it's mainly because he's probably because he's smoking a cigarette in the front cover. Funny as it sounds, probably why. Um, the back, totally different. Christian's along with some Alpha Pat Fowl, uh, pausing a bit. It's got no extra features. This disc is really badly damaged. Um, hopefully it's going to play because Brittany really wants to watch this. It, I mean, it's rare. It's been through the blender. Um, but it was quite cheap. So we've got a chapter selections. And then we've got... I can't believe that. There we go. Yeah, yeah, after the sunset would be in there. And we've got all four Critics movies. Which makes it look like five, I believe, after the sunset's in there. So hopefully this will work. I'll have to result of VHS. Um, we probably will have time to watch it before New Zealand. New Zealand is a week away um, from filming this. I do have it on Laserdisc. But yeah, it's awesome to have it. And I'm just going to stick at the end of After the Sunset, even though it means I've got to re-edit it, re-upload it. But hey ho, I don't say suit even go. Thanks for watching. Goodbye now. And now, the end is here.